Hello again, Doran Markowitz here from D Guitars Miami with another edition of This Week in Cool Guitar Repairs. This week's particular instrument is a Guild 12 string that's been kind of through the mill. I decided to uh, showcase this one this week because I rarely ever do any 12 string videos. I noticed that. Usually they're basses or regular acoustics or six strings and so forth. So I decided to showcase this one. This one came to me needing uh, some major reconstruction on the headstock. It was separating. It was missing a tuner and it needed a new bone saddle. Um, it had previously been repaired at the headstock and the person that had repaired it before, you know, um, did a very crude job, let's put it that way. Um, he used epoxy and it was slathered with epoxy and he doweled it up big time and just, it looked like they had this big welt of epoxy all over the place in the back. It had like a tumor. So what I had to do was after basically repairing this section was completely separating off. You could actually fold the headstock open. So I had to re-glue all this, but I also decided it's not enough to just re-glue it. I wanted to reshape the entire profile so that it would actually look, you know, like a, a decent voluted area. And if you notice, I think I did a pretty decent job. Um, it's nice and clean. And of course, I restained it. I sprayed it with some hickory stain to kind of blend all the light and dark areas that it had from the dowels and whatnot. I don't know if you could see them too clearly, but you could see the dowels that were previously used. It was a mess. Um, inside, where the truss rods are adjusted, there's two truss rods, and one of them was full of epoxy that was just leaked into it, you know, from the way it was glued. I had to chisel out all that epoxy to be able to get to the truss rod nuts. I was able to clean it out, and I was able to adjust them. Luckily, the truss rods were not damaged at all, and it adjusted beautifully. Um, like I said, I crafted a new bridge saddle for it. It's a beautiful guitar. It's an F212 electric. And if you notice, it's got a nice small body, you know, um, kind of like a Martin Triple O type. It's got a very interesting neck pickup that's made out of wood, rosewood, with a couple of uh, white stripes there as well, volume and tone. And for basically a magnetic pickup acoustic, has a very good sound to it. I was really surprised when I plugged it in because I expected the magnetic response of the, the bronze strings not be as loud as the plain strings and actually overall the balance is pretty good. Um, rosewood back and sides, mahogany neck, spruce top. The action's pretty good. Um, guilds are notorious for having very high action because of the way they're constructed. So I took that into account when I adjusted it. Uh, the gentleman that owns this told me he doesn't really go up very high anyway. It's mainly, you know, this range. And I have it set to where it plays very comfortably, if you notice. How does it sound? Well, I'd say it sounds pretty full. And if you play with a pick, sounds plugged in. Okay, 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 relax. I got this. <laughs> plugged in, this has a very, very cool sound, like I said. And again, through just a regular little Gorilla amp, I'm still quite impressed with its tone. It's tuned down to D. He likes to have it tuned down to D because it's more full on the bottom end is what he feels. And I tend to agree this guitar has a nice boisterous sound. And I think part of the reason he tunes it down is because it's such a small body he wants to enhance the bass response of it. Very cool. I think the customer will be very pleased with it. It was, um, it was a, a challenging job to not just to repair this, the separations, it was separating here, it was folding up, 
the head was actually curving forward with the way it was separating. So getting everything to, to clamp back into a relatively flat position, which I'd say it's like 90% there, was a challenge. And then after that, reprofiling it so that it would actually look presentable. Um, he nicknamed it Frankenstein. Um, I'd like to think that it's not as Frankenstein now. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, all right, so thanks for watching, and until next time, if you need any type of uh, assistance on something such as this, you know, broken headstock, 12-string uh, restorations, whatever, body work, neck work, fret work, finish work, I don't do windows, don't hesitate to give me a call, 305-896-1811. Until next time, Doran Markowitz from D Guitars Miami. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.